Hangings were commonplace during the early years of Arkansas. Hundreds went to the county gallows, and the curious always turned out to watch them officially hang by the neck until dead. On July 14, 1913, Arthur Tillman was placed in the noose at Paris, becoming the state's last legal hanging, and Arkansas got an electric chair. The electric chair was located at what was the Arkansas State Penitentiary. It was known as the Walls, which was located on Roosevelt Road, uh, the current location of the Troop A State Police Headquarters now. The first to die in Arkansas's new chair was Lee Sims. The year was 1913, and the crime was rape. Newspaper accounts say he sang a gospel song before the switch was thrown. During the next 50 years, 168 more would take the short walk to Arkansas's death chamber. The locations were different, but the outcome was the same. To have uh two executions a day. There were, was even an occasion when they had four in one particular day. So executions were not, were not out of the ordinary and actually did not attract uh, any large amount of attention. The state's last execution almost went unnoticed. There was a short article in the Gazette on January 23, 1964, when Charles Franklin Fields' last appeal was denied, and another the next day, the day he was strapped into the chair. I think during the, during the 60s, there was just a, a period of time there where executions did not occur. I, historically, I don't know the, the cause of that. I would assume it would be due to uh, to court intervention. Whatever the reason, 25 years have now passed since Arkansas's death chamber was used. The chair is no longer the final punisher. These days, it's a small needle and a lethal injection. Dinah Tyler, 11 Action News, Little Rock.